Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family, faith, hope, and love. I'm so glad that you joined me. Let's be fed daily bread. Are you hungry? this message find you doing well you have joined me on my digital journey I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day hello to my family hello to my friends thank you for your support thank you for your words of encouragement thank you for joining me on this digital journey today is day 310 episode 310 what I'm going to be talking to you today about is over it over it is there something that you've got going on not right now but even previously and you just like were like fed up like that's it I'm just over it well, this is where I'm at right now in my digital journey. So Holy Spirit knew that when he gave me this particular phrase, he knew that this particular point in my life would be on this particular day. So I can sit here with confidence saying, I am over it. So since we're scripture based, of course, there's a scripture that the Holy Spirit brought to my attention that he wanted me to share with you. And let me see what scripture that is. It's in the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 18. And it says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Let me repeat that. Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18. It says, forget the former things and do not dwell on the past so what the Holy Spirit wants you to know and of course what the Holy Spirit wants me to know because we're here on this platform making sure that we're keeping it 100 and that we're giving God all the honor and the glory because this is what he is worthy of okay he is worthy of being our number one priority he is worthy of our time and he is worthy of us coming to him seeking guidance and wisdom okay so of course we all go through trials and tribulations if you haven't experienced any trials and tribulations i would be worried if i was you okay because scripture tells us consider it pure joy when we're faced with any type of adversity okay so if you haven't experienced anything i would be a little bit concerned but what God is trying to show us is that he is in control of every situation. No matter how painful, no matter how hard, whatever it is that we're going through, we just know that we have to let go and let God. Have you ever heard that saying? Just let it go and let God. But it's so hard for people to, because you know, in the flesh you want to be able to control I got something to say I'm gonna let them know what's on my mind you know everybody has this thing inside of them um, I'm so glad that I'm definitely got a vow of silence because silence is golden so I will not be grieving the Holy Spirit whatsoever and I will not be getting myself in any type of trouble at all when it comes to God okay but for those of you who um, are having a little problem with self-control um, it is all about the way that you look at God and how you respect him okay let God have your life give it to him okay after all he's the one that created you he knows everything he has insight hindsight and foresight so don't you think that he know what's best for you um, he can do more with your life than you can so why not give it to him, especially in scripture, if he tells you in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, 
plans to prosper you, plans to give you hope, plans to give you a bright future. So if you're trying to do it yourself, obviously, don't you think you're going to sabotage your own life? So the golden nugget for today is get over it because I'm over it. Let go and let God give God your life. Give him full access. Allow him to do the good things that he has for you in Jeremiah 29, 11, and be able to reap the fruits, be beneficial, be able to help someone else on their journey, okay? Because we're all here to help each other, encourage each other, and lift each other up. So I hope you know that everything that I'm doing here is for your understanding so that you can get a better light on how it is that God operates. I've been in his presence for quite some time. So he's not going to give someone um, information who hasn't been there with him experiencing it. This is my digital journey. He gives me phrases. He gives me words. He talks to me each and every day. Okay. And he wants you to know that the word of God proves to be true. And that he is a shield to all of those who come to him for protection. So my question to you each and every day is, are you hungry? I know that I am. So let's be fed daily bread. Oh, oh, oh.